but I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. There we go. Sweet. Got it going, finally. Okay. And I saw Sid in the thumbnail, so they're going back to her. Are they just doing another job for her, maybe? Hmm. Oh, I think this is a different job. Kind of interesting that they're still just doing jobs for Sid. Who's that? Some human with brown eyes. Kind of looked like a male, just from that little snip. Little snippet. Is that, oh, that might be Saw Gerrera, actually. Or, no, that actually kind of looked like a clone's face from that angle. Is that Rex? That's Rex. Maybe that was who the Martez sisters were working for. Oh yeah, definitely with that cloak.
At least, at least they kind of solved that mystery right away. Oh, that's why they go to the medical facility. <laughs> Shit, that's why they go to the medical facility. Rex was not having it when he found that out. I don't think I've heard of that. I don't think I've heard of that planet. Omega doesn't have one. Riker's head. Riker's headache is like constant now too so hopefully hopefully they get it out before he hits his head again oh this is I think I think this is that one place that they that uh, was shown on the uh, trailer this is this is like a ship graveyard it's actually really cool there's There'd be a lot of scrap here for just random people to come pick up. I think that's the same, like, bomber type ship that he had in final season of Clone Wars. Uh huh. Yep, this is the scene right here. A scrapper guild. There we go. Yeah, I guess not all of the metal here looks like it's all in tip-top shape, so I guess that makes sense. That not everything has just been torn apart. Omega did try to say to keep that animal calm in the beginning of the episode. So maybe she does have some force powers.
There's something in the water. I wonder I wonder if uh, one of those uh Oh, I wonder if it's one of those things from a new hope. In the uh dumpster. I wonder if it's one of those uh monsters that are in the water. That'd be actually kind of awesome. <laughs> so we have I don't think one of those has been seen ever since then. Kind of like how they just skipped all that part makes it <laughs> Wrecker and Heights, poor guy, and he's also the biggest. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. Oh, smashed his head. Now he's hanging right above the water, too. Well, I mean, he smashed his whole body, realistically. No, it doesn't look like it's one of the uh, A New Hope things. Use the force, Omega. Use the force. Nice. Good shots. Ow. Oh my god, didn't. Oh, there's the med bay. Ew. That thing looked gross. Well, Omega was like a medical helper, so...
Oh my god. That moment he turned was so badass. Just keep on hitting him in the head. Chasing Omega? Get through. He's gonna lift it up. Does that weapon not get set to stun? There's no way they kill Wrecker, right? There's no way. She's not there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no way, there's no way Omega kills Wrecker, and definitely no way the other way around. What is she going to do? Oh, I thought she was like going to like touch his head and use the force or something like that. I had like that kind of like mysterious music going on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm surprised.
surprised it didn't even have him saying like I'm sorry or something like that. Oh, there he goes. If Wrecker dies in this series, I might cry. I just might. He's just so lovable. Are you meeting at the rendezvous, Rex? Huh? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> tell me. Well, you are clones, so it makes sense that you're going to say the same thing. He's ever in a bind? Yeah. Wait, who's watching him? Oh, the Scrapper Guild. The Empire. Alright, so the Scrapper Guild notify is going to notify the Empire that the Bad Batch is on Baku? Batu? I forgot what they ex exactly said, but I have a feeling we're going to see Crosshair in the next episode. But hey, they got their chips out. All right. That was, that was a pretty damn good episode. Wait, what was it called again? I, I already forgot. Um, let's see here. Battle Stars. Right. So I think this episode was really good. I'm going to say, I don't think it was as good as episode 3, though. I'm going to give it, like, a 7.5. That episode was really good. The, the fact that they started off by kind of just, like, finishing up an old mission was, was kind of nice. Because I, did, I honestly didn't want to sit through another one of those, like, weekly mission type things. So, when Rex showed up initially i was like i was like who's that for because for a second like the brown eyes just reminded me of uh caleb doom but after like that one angle where they're like kind of looking down i kind of saw the nose and i was like wait is that rex and then when we walked out and saw his arm out of the cloak and just saw the blue of uh, 501st line on his uh forearm armor i was like yes let's go and then like everything it, it went by so quick which is really awesome because basically immediately as he showed up he was like oh look at some trace and robbers told me you were here blah 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 which that mis mystery was solved and i guess i don't know why i didn't think it was rex 
because both Rafa and Trace interacted with Ahsoka basically right before her and Rex did the Siege of Mandalore. So it kind of makes sense. And of course, like, yeah, he'd be interested in ways to defeat the Empire. I think the only reason I thought it was a Jedi was just because of that cloak he was wearing. Um, also, I'm not really sure. I guess it was kind of a cool reveal. I was just expecting from the end of last episode when they showed that, I thought it was going to be someone like really big. And then it, then it ended up being Rex, which is still awesome. But I, f I feel like the way they did that made the character look like it was a bigger reveal than it actually was. But either way, when Rex showed up, I was like, yes. And then if I was like, <laughs> when that happened, I was like, if they don't end up going down the route of the inhibitor chips, that's a, that's a waste. And then they didn't waste it. But yeah, that episode was really good. From immediately when Rex found out that they still had the inhibitor chips in, and he was and he was like ready to pull the trigger. That was that was crazy. That was awesome. And then it ends on Wrecker having Order sixty six hit, and then him trying to kill rex echo tech hunter and omega luckily they are able to stop him but i like two points i thought omega was going to kill wrecker and then i also thought wrecker was going to kill omega not really because there's no way they kill off omega in the halfway through the series <laughs> but and then they got all the inhibitor chips out but yeah i i honestly thought wrecker was going to die for a split second there and Honestly, that would have been that would have been kind of devastating, but pretty cool to the story. Um, but I feel like the amount of buildup that specifically Wrecker is getting, I have a feeling he does not survive. Unless unless there is more than one season, I have a feeling that Wrecker does not survive. The relationship that they're building up with him and Omega, it's it's really nice. So I'm anticipating that they're gonna rip that in half. <laughs> It's either that or all of the Bad Batch dies. Because at the end of the episode, Hunter told Rex, it's like, hey, if you if you need us, just feel free to contact us, basically. And later down the line, after he meets up in Rebels, he doesn't contact them. So, I'm assuming that they might not survive past the series. And then... I guess one other thing at the very end the scrapper guild saw hunter and rex well as rex was leaving they saw hunter standing outside the um venator uh jedi cruiser and they're going to contact the empire so i'm assuming they're either i would assume they'd send crosshair because we haven't seen him in like four episodes so it makes sense that they'd send him but even even then someone's going to be coming to that planet specifically and i have a feeling i have a feeling they'll be getting off the planet and then someone from the empire will show up do a space battle and then eventually they'll get away but this this puts the Empire back on their trail, which means that they'll probably need somewhere to hide. So I'm assuming they won't be going back to Sid's. I'm assuming they'll be like, hey, Sid, we out. Good luck. <laughs> we don't want to drag the Empire back to you. But yeah, that episode was really good. Um, but yeah, I think that's what's going to happen next. I think they're going to run, aw run away and try to find a place to lay low. I don't think SIDS is a place that they can do that, uh, because then they'll just be bringing the Empire to SIDS location, and I doubt SID would be happy with that. And if they do go back there, I'm assuming she'll be like, get out of here, I don't want you here. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure 
overall there's not a whole lot that happened but what happened was really important to the overall story of the series so so i'm not really sure if there's much more to talk about i thought that they were going to encounter one of the new hope uh um garbage disposal creatures i thought that's what they're gonna see it's kind of sad that we didn't it was like some like kraken monster type thing but yeah that was really good i'm trying to think of any other odd thing that i want to think about um not really the mystery behind the cloaked figure last episode solved immediately the question on when they're going to get their inhibitor chips out solved this episode and question on if Wrecker was going to turn that was also solved this episode <laughs> um yeah I think that's all I got um but yeah I want to thank everyone for watching if you're watching this on YouTube feel free to hit me up with a subscribe if you're interested and you can also follow me on Twitch where I stream these reactions and mainly reactions but also a review a review of the episode live on Fridays at roughly 7 a.m. Central Standard Time hit me up with a sub on YouTube hit me up with a follow on TikTok tiktok as well that's not what i want to say but a follow on twitch and then you can follow me on tiktok where i kind of upload supercut reactions and reviews from my bad batch reviews and reactions um please also go on to youtube as shorts so if you're watching on youtube there's that as well but yeah i want to thank you all for watching and may the force be with you